Hi parents, this is the step-by-step -step guide to dropping your child off for school. Firstly, the school gate will only open at 10 past 7. Once the school gate opens, your child will exit the car and make their way to the school gate. Please do not drive off. At the gate, your child's hands will be sanitized and their temperatures will be checked and recorded. If your child's temperature is between 35 and 37.5 degrees Celsius, you will get the green light and you may leave. But if your child's temperature is above 37.5 degrees Celsius, you have to take your child back home. School transport services are to follow the exact same procedure. No child is granted access onto the school property without a mask. Once your child has entered the school property, your child will be escorted to their class. There, they will sanitize their hands upon entry. The learners will then have a five minute orientation and registration session. This will start at 25 past seven. The learners will be provided with paper towel and an alcohol solution to wipe down their tables and chairs. Hi parents, this is the procedure for during class. Each class has been thoroughly cleaned. Each table has been spaced 1.5 meters apart from each other. Each learner will have their own desk and they are responsible for keeping their desk and the desk area clean during the day. The learners will remain in their specified class for the entire day. One learner is allowed to use the bathroom at a time. Each learner who uses the bathroom will be required to fill out a sign out form. This is to monitor the number of learners in the bathroom at a time. At break, learners will sanitize their hands and have their temperatures checked and recorded. Once break is over, they are escorted back to class and their desks are cleaned once more. Their hands will be sanitized when entering the class after break. Hi parents, this is the procedure for after school. Firstly, when your child exits their class, they are to clean their desks with the alcohol solution and the paper towel. Their hands will be sanitized and their temperatures will be checked and recorded. It is extremely important, parents, that you understand that all learners are to be collected by 2 o'clock and no later. No learner is allowed to loiter in and around the school. If the learner is not fetched by 2 o'clock, the parent will be billed 80 rand. To ensure the safety of our learners, we have equipped our classes with hand sanitizer, liquid soap, disinfectant, paper towel, and a biohazardous bin. According to the DBE, each child should have a sanitary bag provided by their parents. These bags should contain an extra mask as well as tissues. Hand sanitizer is optional. Hi parents, here are the rules and regulations for a normal school day. Number one, Learners may only enter the school premises at 10 past 7 and must be off the school property by 2 o'clock. Each child will have their temperatures checked three times a day. This will be done before school, before break and after school. Each of these temperatures will be recorded and kept on file. Number three, no child is allowed to enter the school property without a mask and their sanitary bag. Number four, it is extremely important that the children wear their school uniform each day. Number five, one learner may use the bathroom at a time during lessons. They are to fill out a sign out form each time. Number six, learners will have their breaks at different venues. Each of these venues will be monitored by a staff member. Number seven, the tuck shop will not be open. Therefore, the learners must be provided with a packed lunch each and every day. Please contact Mrs. Williams if you are unable to do this. Number eight, we are incredibly strict regarding discipline and the code of conduct. The code of conduct will be maintained at all times. Parents, please note that you will be contacted immediately if your child does not adhere to the discipline policy of the school. Number nine, 
The isolation room has been set up with a bed and a couch. This is separate to the sick room. If your child has been moved to the isolation room, you will be contacted and you will need to fetch your child immediately. Number 10. Classrooms will be cleaned daily after school. Your child will be required to clean their desk and chair at the start of the day, after break and after school. Number 11. Online learning and classroom lessons will run concurrently. This means that those learners at home will have access to the exact same lesson that those at school will have. And lastly, we as Saxon Hall Primary cannot force you to bring your child to school. But if you do, we promise that we will do everything we can to keep your child safe during this time.